have you ever wanted to build a website for your photography business but you just didn't know how? I didn't know how to build a website either until Mike showed me and now he can show you too. Hi, I'm Mike and I want to show you how to build a professional website for a photographer. As you can see on the screen, this is a website I built with my name on it, portfolio pictures, information about myself, and even a contact form. Right now we're going to use the Wix system and I'll show you how to create this website. You can go to wix.com or you can just press the link below in the video description. Press sign in in the top right corner. I always sign in in the past so my email and password are already here. But if you're a new user, you need to sign up with a username and password to make an account. I already have a few websites but if you're a new user, you probably want to go directly to the template page. You can get there by pressing the create new site button. Here you can choose the topic of your site to find a template that fits. We're going to choose photography. Now we'll get to the page where they're going to present us with their templates. There are thousands. There are different categories as you can see such as business, online store, photography, music, design, etc. We're going to choose photography and then travel and documentary. When you find a template that looks interesting you can mouse over it and press the view button to see how it looks. You can also view what it would look like on a mobile device by pressing the mobile icon. If you would like to work with this template just press edit and then the website template will open in the editor. We're going to go over to one of my favorite templates called Life Photographer Portfolio. We're going to press on edit and then the website will display in the editor mode so we can get started on our website edits. As you can see there are a ton of buttons so we want to go over a few things that you should know and understand. Let's start with the top right hand corner. There are save, preview and publish buttons. For everything that you change on your website, you should press save. You don't want to lose any information just in case of a power shutdown, so make sure you save. If you press on the preview button, you will be able to view your website within the toolbox. And if you press the publish button, all the changes that you've made will go live on your actual website. Here you can press on the mobile view to see a mobile view of your website. On the top left hand corner, you can see the pages of your website. You can manage them here change the position of the pages and manage the settings of each page. Here you have the most important button of the editor which is the add button. Here there are a lot of things that you can add to your website such as text, images, galleries, shapes, interactive buttons, boxes, lists and grids and more. There are so many aspects you can use to enhance your website. If you want to add one of these to your website just press on the category and then press on the element. It will add it to your website and you can change any of the settings of your element by pressing on one of the many settings. Each element has different settings that you can work with so let's start with the main picture. Press on manage media. I want to change this picture so I'm going to press on it and choose a replacement image. I can upload my own image or I can use one of Wix free stock images. As you can see there are many stock photos I can choose from. I'll choose this image and then just press done. Now let's say you want to go change these categories. Maybe we'll make one of the categories a nature category. We will press manage media, select which image we would like to replace, choose the nature image to replace it. Right here, this one's good. And now we're just going to change the name to nature. We can link this image to a page that displays a nature portfolio. Let's just link it to architecture at the moment and we'll change the name to nature in a second. Now let's head over to your page home in the top left corner of the site menu. Here we can manage the pages of our website. Select the architecture page and change it to nature. Now within the page I can add my own images that relate to the nature category. Let me just add a few more pictures. Okay, now I only have nature pictures in this page, just how I wanted it. Now if I head back over to the home page, you can see my categories once again. You will see that the nature category is created. You can press on this category and it'll bring you to the nature page we created. Now if you go to text boxes, for example, you'll be able to edit the text and add in your own name. You can change the forms on the website along with all the fields in the form. Now with your Wix website, you can go through each and every element and edit it to your needs. And once you make all the changes you want, press save for one last time and then publish. 
You will then get a link to your website and then your site will finally be live. Of course, I recommend that you pay for the premium plan to get your own domain and website, otherwise you'll be using one of Wix domains. Anyway, that's how you create your own photography website. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day. See how easy that is? If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please like, share, and leave your comments down below. Bye!